Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be using the new Piggy Pebble stamp set and I'm going to be creating a clean and simple card, but rather than keeping it completely flat in one layer, I decided to add a little bit of dimension by doing some selective stamping and layering with some foam adhesive. If you're a fan of clean and simple card making, this is a really great way to keep that design, but to have a little bit of something extra on the card just to make it stand out a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to stamp out my image. I have a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock in my mini Misty stamping tool, and I'm gonna use extreme black ink to stamp out my image. This ink is Copic friendly, which means I can use Copic markers with it and the ink won't bleed at all. So I'm going to stamp it onto the white cardstock, and I'm actually gonna stamp it twice. I'm gonna stamp it onto one panel of cardstock first, which is going to be our actual card, and then I'm gonna stamp it onto a second piece of cardstock. And this is what we're going to use for the selective stamp so I'm going to color portions of that second one. I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out and then we're going to layer it onto the original image. So I just left my stamp right on the misty door and added a second cardstock panel right above the first one and stamped out the image. And now I'm just going to remove that because I want to do a little bit more stamping on this original design before we start to do the coloring. So I wanna stamp a little puddle image that comes with the stamp set, but I don't want it to stamp over top of his feet. So I stamped out the very bottom of him on some masking paper, which you can see I just cut out with my scissors, and I'm just gonna remove the backing off this masking paper so that I can stick it down onto my image. This is just going to allow me to stamp the puddle and make it look like it's behind the image rather than in front of it. So I have everything positioned in my Misty here. I'm gonna use the same extreme black ink and then I'm going to stamp out the puddle image as well. And then like I mentioned, because we have the mask in place, this is actually going to be behind the image and it's going to make it look like the little piggy is actually standing in the water. Once I have that on there, I can go ahead and remove our little mask and you can see our fully stamped image here with that puddle design included. Now I didn't stamp the puddle a second time on the other cardstock piece because we're not gonna need that for any of the layering that we're going to do. Okay, so now we can color in our image. Like I mentioned before, I'm using Copic markers to color this in. You can use any color medium you prefer if you like colored pencils, or you can even watercolor him if you would prefer. I would just stamp it onto watercolor paper rather than the plain cardstock that I've used here. Now I'm using a bunch of shades of like pinkish reds to color him in a pink color. I started off with a very light shade of R00 just to saturate the paper and give him a base layer of color. And now I'm coming in with R22 and R20, and this is just going to add a little bit of depth and dimension to our image. I always prefer to start with my lightest color first and then work my way up to my darkest and medium and then continue to blend out until I'm happy with the design. But if you prefer, you can definitely start with your darker color as well. It's just kind of preference on how you prefer to color the images. So I'm just going through and getting the pig fully colored and then also going to go to the second panel here and I'm just gonna color in his nose. This is going to be a piece that we're going to layer on top. So I need to add color to this so that we're able to cut it out with our scissors and then put it onto that original image. Once we get the nose colored, we can go ahead and move on to the water in the puddle. So I'm using some BG colors here. I have BG 11, 32, and 15, and I'm coloring in this puddle and adding a little bit of a darker area right under his feet, just to make it look shadowed there where he's standing. And then I decided to extend the water even farther than just that little puddle, since we are keeping this card very simple. So I took a BG 10, which is a very light aqua color, and I just kind of scribbled color all around there, just to make it look like the water was a bigger area than what that puddle was. Once I had that done, I went on to his little hooves and colored those in with some dark gray markers. I colored in the arm of the umbrella with another shade of gray, and then I'm gonna move on to the actual umbrella, which we're going to do in some fun rainbow colors. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do here when I first started this coloring. So you're gonna see that I'm actually going to fully color and shade in both umbrellas. At first, my thought was I was just going to use different panels from the umbrella and just kind of decide which ones I wanted to raise off of the card. So without knowing for sure what I was going to do, I wanted to make sure I had everything colored perfectly so that I was able to go with whatever option I decided. Now in the end, I'm going to just use the entire umbrella and put the whole thing onto adhesive. So I didn't really need to do all of the shading on the original image. So to save time, if you know right away that you're going to use the whole umbrella top, I would just color the base color of each of the colors you're using on the umbrella that's gonna be underneath, just so that you can see the color when you look from the side under the adhesive. But I really wouldn't worry about doing too much ink blending since you're not gonna see most of this once I have the second umbrella added to the top of this. 
For the coloring on the umbrella, since we only had four panels to color in, we weren't able to do a full rainbow design. So I decided just to use the cooler tones of the rainbow and go with a green and aqua and indigo and a purple. I love how these look. They're really bright and fun. And I really love that they don't compete with the pink colors that we used on the pig. It stands out completely separate. So I just went through and fully colored in all of these panels and then I'm going to take my scissors now and I'm going to cut out the two pieces that we're going to add the dimension with. So these are going to be the pig's nose as well as the whole top of the umbrella. When I cut out the umbrella, I only cut out the main portion of it. I didn't worry about the top piece or those little pieces at the bottom. They're really super small and I didn't want to try and fiddle with my scissors. And since we're layering this over top of the original image, you're still going to see them. They're just going to be on the bottom layer of that image. For the umbrella, I did two layers of foam adhesive. This is a thinner adhesive, so I wanted it to be a little bit more dimensional. So I put a base layer on first and then added a second layer directly over top. And then I added that onto our umbrella image. For the little pig's nose, I decided to just do one layer of foam adhesive. So we had a little bit of difference in the dimension on both parts. So I put the adhesive on there and then I put that onto the image as well. And now you can see that we've added these, that we have this clean and simple design, but we have this really cool dimension by layering the pieces. And you can see now when I'm tilting it that you can see the color underneath. So it really adds to the overall look to have the color on both the base layer as well as the top layer that you're adding. Okay, so now you can see that I've added a sentiment strip here. This is just a black cardstock strip that I white heat embossed our sentiment on. And I also added some rain droplets to the background just for a little bit more dimension, but to keep it very subtle so that they didn't really stand out on the card. I then added the finished panel to a limelight card base, which is an A2 size card measuring four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm just going to add a little bit more detail with a white gel pen to the images as well. But you can see that great dimension that we have when we tilt the card. So I just took my white gel pen and added some highlight areas to the umbrella as well as some areas on the little piggy. And then as I was looking at the card and thought it was finished, I decided that I didn't love the black sentiment strip. It just really stood out a lot on the card and I felt like it was taking away from the stamped images that we had created. So I decided to re-stamp it onto Summer Splash cardstock and then I once again heat embossed it with white embossing powder. And then I layered it right over top of that black piece, just kind of offsetting it a bit. So it created a bit of a shadow in behind there and gave us that little pop of black that I love, but it also kind of toned it down a bit and then really left the focus on the stamped image. So that is today's card. I hope you got some ideas on ways that you can dress up your clean and simple cards to keep them simple but still have a little bit of something extra on them when they're done. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. As always, I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in another one soon. Thanks for watching.